Hi, welcome to The Shed. I want to share with you a four-step process to be able to spell all 12 major scales. Now, this process is derived from the circle of fourths, but sometimes that's a little complicated to think about. So I'm going to simplify it using mnemonic devices. So the first step is knowing if the key is a sharp key or a flat key. The second step is knowing how many notes are sharped or flatted in the key. The third step is knowing which notes are sharped or flatted. And then the final step is actually spelling that key. So let's start with that first step. Is it a sharp or a flat key? So the key of C has no sharps or flats. That's nice and easy. So if somebody asked you to spell the key of C, all you would do is start on C, go through the musical alphabet until you end on C again, and that is the key of C. So we have C, D, E, F, G. The musical alphabet repeats after G, A, B, C. That's the key of C, nice and easy. Now, all flat keys have flat next to their name except for the key of F. So if we're starting on C and we're going through our flat keys, we have C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat. So it's easy to identify if a key is a flat key because it has flat next to its name unless it's the key of F. That means that any other letter that doesn't have a flat next to it, that isn't C, and that isn't F, is a sharp key. So if I'm looking at the key of E, for example, it's not the key of C, it's not the key of F, it doesn't have flat next to its name, that means it's a sharp key. So the sharp keys are G, D, A, E, B, F sharp, and C sharp. Those are all of our sharp keys. Okay, so that's our first step. Our second step is knowing how many sharps or flats are in that key or that scale. So I use two mnemonic devices to determine that. The first one is for flats. So it's for better earth, always drive green cars. And I remember it's for flats because flat starts with F and the first word in that mnemonic device for that also starts with F. So um, let's see, I wanna um, spell the key of D flat. All you have to do is count up your mnemonic device until you hit the word that starts with the letter you're looking for. So the key of D flat, for better earth, always drive. That key has five flats. Now how about the key of B flat? For better. That key has two flats. Nice and easy. So that's how I remember my flat keys. Now for sharp keys, I use a different mnemonic device. That one is good dogs always eat boneless fried chicken. And remember that the fried chicken is sharp. So those last two keys, the keys of F sharp and C sharp, those both have sharp after their letter name. So let's say I want to spell the key of B. Is it a sharp key or a flat key? Well, it's not the key of F, and it's not the key of C, and it doesn't have flat next to its name, so it must be a sharp key. So now we count up using the new mnemonic device, the good dogs one. So we have good dogs always eat boneless. That key has five sharps. Now we move on to our next step, step three, that's knowing actually which notes are sharped or flatted in that key. So the order of flat notes, that's B, E, A, D, G, C, A. F. That's the order of flats. And um, it, it comes from the circle of fourths. It's easy to memorize. And now it's applied to a couple keys. So let's do the key of D flat again. We learned that the key of D flat had five flats. So all you do is you go through B to G, C, F, and you just pick the first five. So B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat. All five of those notes are flat in the key of D. Let's do another one. Let's do the key of F. The key of F only has one flat. So we're doing four better earth. It's Four just has one flat. Which note is flatted? It's the first one in that order of flats. It's B flat. Now, if you needed to know how many sharps are in a sharp key, you take that same order and you go backwards. So you start on F sharp instead of starting on B. And instead of reading it from left to right, you're going to read it from right to left. So now let's do the key of E. Good dogs always eat. That key has four sharps. Which notes are sharped? So you start on F. So it has F, C, G, and D. All four of those notes are sharped in the key of E. Just remember, for sharps, you have to read it from right to left. Now that leaves us with the last step. And that last step, you're actually spelling the scale. So let's start with E because we just ended with that one. It's fresh in our minds. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take E and I'm going to go through the musical alphabet and I'm just going to spell the key of E without any sharps or flats. So we have E, F, G, goes back to A, A, B, C, D, E. That is E without any sharps or flats. Now I'm going to apply our four sharps. So we know it has four sharps because good dogs always eat. And we know that those four sharps, if we go from right to left, that's F sharp, C sharp, D sh uh, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. So I'm going to just put those in the scale. And that's how you spell the key of E. It's E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E. Let's do another one. Let's do a flat key. Let's do the key of G flat. For better earth always drive green. 
There's six flats in the key of G flat. Which notes are flatted? So we have B, E, A, D, G, C, F, and we're going to go from left to right for flats. So B, E, A, D, G, and C, all those notes are flat. So I'm going to start on the key of, I'm going to start on the note G, and I'm just going to spell it using the musical alphabet. So we have G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then I'm going to put those flats in. So we have B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, and C flat. It's nice and simple. Just know your four steps, know the mnemonic devices for how many flats and how many sharps are in each key, and know how to use BGCF to figure out which notes are sharp or flatted. Hopefully that helps and we'll see you in the shed.